A few points about the current market here in Santa Cruz Valley. This morning, as of the 14th of March, 2023, we only had 219 residential units for sale. That's going to include single family residences, condominiums, and townhomes. So then the question comes in, where is this other inventory going to come from? It's going to come from the resale market. New housing can't keep up with demand. And that resale market's probably going to start providing more listings here in the next few months. Typically, every year we do see the same trend, depending on if, well, we have a COVID-type incident or not. Usually, without the COVID-type incident, the property or real estate market usually, in almost all circumstances, starts to increase the closer we get to summer. So we start somewhere in March, as we are now, and we start seeing more and more listings added to the market. Currently, though, a lot of the people that are looking to sell their houses need to buy something else. That's the issue. Usually, if they're leaving California, there is other opportunity and maybe more plentiful opportunity, and the price point per square foot is going to be, of course, less, so your dollar is going to go further all the way around. But you're not going to have access to a lot of the things we have here in Southern California, so I guess that's the trade-off. If you're good with that, great. If you're not, well, you probably won't go anywhere. But a lot of people that are staying here, staying put in California, or maybe looking to move up, the dilemma that they face is, is there going to be something to purchase? And what I tell my sellers is this. If, in fact, you are looking for something to buy, you're going to still have to get your house on the market, get it positioned properly, and we'll build into the contract things that protect you, i.e., like having your home sale contingent on you finding a home of choice or a placement property that you want to purchase, having that offer accepted, and then having both close at the same time. These are protective mechanisms that are able to be put in place by savvy real estate agents or those that know their business. If you are considering selling, and that's something that's in your mind as far as you're going to have a place to go, we aren't going to know until we actually get you in a position that you can start making the right selections. Now, uh, the reason why I say this isn't we're trying not to put the cart before the horse or the cart before the, yeah, the cart before the horse. What we're trying to do is basically keep any kind of injury to a minimum of non-existent. So if you are looking to move up, again, you want to protect yourself, basically putting into contract that you aren't going to move forward with the buyer that happens to have written the offer. They need to understand you are contingent on you finding that replacement property. Then they may come back in a counter form and maybe give you a particular amount of time to do that, but you're still safe and secure because if you are unable to find that replacement property in whatever it is, 30, 45, 50, 60, 80 days, then you're still safe. You can still pull out of the transaction as long as none of the contingencies have been removed, of course, but that contract is what protects you. I am Connor McIver. Be well. This is your real estate update for March 14th, 2023.